Hey guys, so welcome to your bonus love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for the rest of your December 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see um, what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. Do all the youtube -y stuff. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on there too. All right? So tell me about... Um, Pisces and love. What's going on with Pisces and love? What's going on with Pisces and love for the rest of their December, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Pisces and love and the person that they are connecting with. Okay, so we have the King of Wands here and the Ten of Wands. I mean, you could be viewing someone here as a burden here. Someone here could be viewing you as a burden. Someone here has a lot of burdens themselves here but they're not really paying attention to it. Uh, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Empress here. I feel like both of you guys are not really on the same page here. You know, I feel like this is you, the Empress. I feel like you just don't want to be with this person because I feel like you're starting to view this person as a burden or that this person is too much. They could be projecting all their burdens onto you or something like that. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, Pisces, I feel like you're so sensitive. I feel like you're feeling everything that this person is holding on to, whatever that may be, their burdens, their trauma, their pain, their hurt here, okay? So we have the King of Wands here. So I feel like this is about having boundaries with this person, especially energetic boundaries, because I feel like, I wouldn't say that this is, I feel like it's almost like a, a bit of an attack, a psychic attack here, but it's not showing here, but it kind of comes off that way. We have the Two of Swords and the King of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like there is a situation that you're in where you're feeling very stuck with this person, where I feel like you feel like you're not really moving forward or moving. Uh, things are really taking off here. The Ace of Pentacles here and the pa uh, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Empress here, <clears throat> and the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like the dynamic between you that, that you have between you and your person is very, very, very unbalanced here. Yeah. Also very dysfunctional too, because I feel like you might you might have this like parent child dynamic here, right? I feel like you're treating this person like a child or that this child is treating you like a parent here. You know? So I feel like that one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you, you're kind of like teaching or, you know coaching this person to be a de decent human being when they should have gotten that memo a long time ago. You know, the Three of Wands here and the Ten of Swords, yeah, I feel like the, I feel like there's a situation that's ending here or that you're trying to move on from it or that you can't really put any more energy or effort into this. What else do we have here for Pisces? The person that Pisces is dealing with here, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? for the rest of their December, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. With the King of Swords here and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Eight of Wands here and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Four of Swords here and the Magician. Seems like this person doesn't want to let you go that easily here. It seems like they want to move forward here with you. The thing is, I feel like this person's very, very disconnected and very disengaged here. 
I feel like they're also really disconnected from themselves, dis disconnected from their bodies here. This person could be a very, very, just extremely aloof here. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Cherry, Cancer Energy, the Hangman, Pisces Energy, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Lovers here. And the King of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like you're definitely viewing this person in a different, in a whole new different light. Because I feel like you're trying to avoid this person here. Yeah, you're trying to avoid this person. I mean, I do feel like this person, there's definitely a, a bond here. There's definitely a soulmate connection here. But I feel like you're realizing the dysfunction here, okay? The Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot here and the Six of Wands. You know, I feel like in the past, I feel like you guys might have done this in the past life here, where maybe in the past life, yeah, someone here was a parent and someone here was a child here. And I feel like it's happening over again. You know, so I do feel like there's some sort of karmic debt that you guys have to uh, process here and release and let go and heal from. But, you know, I do feel like, I do feel like, you know, only one person is going to be on board about doing this here. Yeah, the four swords here in the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, the magician here, and the high priestess. One of the things I'm getting here is that you know, Virgo, not Virgo, uh, Pisces, I feel like you know that this is not going to go really well here. You're already deep down inside in your higher truth here that you know it's not going to go well. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the High Priestess. What else do we have? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation for the um, rest of their December? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces, for Pisces. Okay, so with the Strength card and the Three of Swords, Strength card, Leo Energy, Three of Swords here. We have the Knight of Wands and the Sun. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Sun, Leo Energy. And the Page of Pentacles here and the Five of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Five of Wands here. You already know that this person's going to hurt you. You know, I, I, you know, I feel like this person has already hurt you, but you, you just know that there's more to come. I do feel like this is definitely a karmic here. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely noticing and realizing the dysfunction here. There's definitely a strong soulmate connection, no doubt about it. But I do feel like you're definitely noticing the dysfunction here, okay? Uh, and I feel like, yeah, I do feel like you guys are definitely trying to get out of the way here or trying to uh, leave this situation here. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Two of Cups here, the Page of Pentacles, and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy, the Five of Wands here, and the Four of Cups. This person needs a lot of, like, help in a way. Because I feel like this person cannot do things on their own. This person is not self-sufficient. Yeah, it's like these little simple things where I feel like this person can't even book an airline ticket. You know, I feel like this person needs your help to do that. You know, I just feel like this person's just, yeah, it's almost like, it's, I almost get the feeling like it's like this person can't like, you know, cut their own fingernails. They have to have their mom cut it for them or something like that. So that's why I get this like parent-child dynamic here. And it's very unhealthy to be in this type of dynamic. I feel like you just have to understand the soul contract, why you guys got together here, because there's definitely something that you have to transcend here. So definitely something that you have to heal. But you know, I feel like, I feel like this person is not gonna be on board with that. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, if you choose to do that, you have to do that on your own here, Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.